now listening to Next Legacy Radio, a radio station for the people. I want to take the time to welcome the people out there listening on this uh, on this edition of Next Legacy Radio, brought to you by NextLegacy.com. I am branded here, and I wish I could say I was here with uh, exciting news or news that I feel like is uh, something that I feel like the American people or at least the majority of the American people I know would be proud of. Uh, tonight is definitely not the case because we are about to witness something that I did not foresee coming tonight. Didn't see in my lifetime that Donald J. Trump of the United States, after everything that he has said, after everything that he has done, after everything that he is about, I, in my lifetime, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have even phantomed that. I wouldn't have, I I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be in a position right now where I don't really have a whole lot to say, but I'm going to try to do what I can to continue and do a show like I have done every political show that I've done ever since I started doing radio back in 2007, the 2008 election. We were live on the air when President Obama became the first African-American president. Uh, We was on the air in 2012 when he took on that second term and he won the election to take on the second term. And here we are in 2016. Um, What, is, in my opinion, was going to be the witness of the first female president of the United States, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it because not only is she so far behind in the other states that are barely or almost done counting, um, she's so far behind as far as electoral votes and whatnot that um, it's almost time for her to concede And honestly, I'm surprised. I'm surprised because here we are with a man who has flip-flopped so many different times, lied so many different times, uh, demeaned and degraded women so many times. Uh, Again, do I say flip-flop so many times? Now, Hillary Clinton is not a saint. Nobody's painting her out to be. Uh, I feel like personally she had the experience based on the fact that when she started way back when, a lot of people say 30 years ago, um, she was pro other people. She did everything she can to help children, to help families, to help women, to help growth. That right there, she gets a pass for me. That's the reason why I voted for her. Uh, All the other transgressions and all the other things that a lot of people say she did, I can give a damn about the emails. I mean, we live in a world where it's, like, filled with people make mistakes. But uh, the other candidate who is now going to be the incumbent president of the United States uh, literally had her tried and executed live on campaign nights. Lock her up? That was that was a chant, right? Um, I, I don't know how I feel about it because... I don't even know how I feel about the simple fact that he continues to win certain states that just really just don't make no sense. Shout out to California, which is massive with 55 electoral votes. But, I mean, we held our own out here in California. We did what we needed to do. Shout out to the other states. That was blue. Um, I did vote Democrat, and I have voted Democrat for a number of years. Um But there wasn't really any other Republican that I felt like was going to make me change my mind. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm up late, but I'm up late because I'm trying to process this right now, and I'm trying to figure out uh, where do we go as a nation after this. I mean, honestly, it would take a miracle 
for Clinton to win any of the other states that's literally out there right now. I mean, it would literally take a miracle for her to do it. Um, but Pennsylvania is really one where it's just like she's already down 76,000 votes right now. 20 electoral votes is on the line there. 97% of the precinct has already put in. Once they call that, he already has more than the 270 uh, electoral votes, I believe, to be able to call the rest what it is. So um really doesn't matter um, as far as what happens everywhere else. It's just like everything else is just kind of like at a point where it's just at a massive standstill. So I want to get y'all opinions. Um, we'll take calls. I do have a lot to talk about. I don't know. This is just really a weird night for me because I, I just really feel like we are not only witnessing something that is really odd in our United States of America, but also we are so divided with uh, change. People say we are in need of change because things aren't going as great as it should be. But when you get a president that's coming in, and granted, it's four years, we can get him out in four years, get somebody else in if he's not doing his job. I get it. But at the same time, how much damage are you going to make during that four years? You should ask the other President Bush that came before Obama, and we've seen the tailspin that took place then. So, And it took Obama literally a full term to be able to right that ship. But again, pain manager, blatant lies from their people, blatant lies from Fox News, blatant lies for so many other people. This is really a dark day in America in a sense where it's just like, you know what, people, you voted for this guy, you, you're going to get exactly what you want. Now, people are definitely not going to believe in a man who I guarantee you somewhere in his, in his life, they're, they're going to find out that his tax returns are so shady that people called this out. And I think if he... You know, and it was a strategy for Trump's people. They didn't want his tax secrets spilled out to the carpet because the moment that happened, he would have lost a hell of a lot of votes. But it's neither here nor there. The American people chose this guy. I didn't choose him. The American people are going to find out that when it's all said and done, it's just going to be a problem. I'm going to take call 713 713- Nine five five zero seven two zero. You can send an email, send them over to Brandon at nextlegacy dot com. Um, text lines, just text eight oh five five oh three two five one eight. I am constructing a new uh text service that people instead of uh if you don't want to send emails, you can literally text live on the air. So, you know, Next Legacy Media, we're trying to be able to cover the market on doing a lot of different things and I'm gonna um start by checking Denia live on the air, Next Legacy Radio. Denia, what's up? Oh my god! Tell me, like we t- tell me, this is a dr- this is a nightmare. It didn't actually happen. Oh, it's a nightmare. Like, this is definitely a nightmare. Oh, it's definitely not a dream. Oh, That's for damn sure. It's definitely oh, not a Jesus. dream. Okay. It's a goddamn um, nightmare. Straight up. I, I I think the best way to kind of describe this feeling is every single thing we have worked for just went down the drain. I as somebody that's worked in politics, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I I think it's um I think it's very painful that people that I associate with I know have been conservatives forever and that's and that's the reason they voted for him because this is how they voted for the forever and ever and ever, which still <laughs> But the fact that more people than we ever thought were were so insistent that they couldn't have a woman president, that you voted in someone who's going to have a rape trial next month. So if he goes to jail for rape, we, that leaves us with Mike Pence. Do y'all know who Mike Pence is and what he does and what he's done? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I really don't know what to say about this, and I think it's a situation where I, what, when my friends like, well, what are you gonna do? If you want them, like, well, I'm like, I'm just gonna pray that 
someone comes into his something comes into his heart and he gets common sense at some point. That 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 that's something we can't do at this point because it's just like I don't understand <laughs> where all this support. Came. Actually, yes, I do. I was hoping our country wasn't this racist and bigoted, but apparently they are. <laughs> And well, you that, know what? I, think that, yeah. I think that's the saddest part about the situation is the fact of like now we yeah. see, ooh, okay, y'all, a whole bunch of y'all was lying. Y'all was saying that y'all was Democrats, but y'all was sitting there voting for this right. fool. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, like, and, and it's more, but I, mean, like, I, but I look at it, for the GOP well, too. well, deny it. Well, well, deny it. Here's the thing, though. Like, I, I look at that, and, and what you said, that's solid, that, that's on point. But you know what? We knew that stuff was going to happen. We knew it was going to be a lot of racist people. Well, we knew it was going to be a lot of people yeah. out there. Who, we knew all that. But see, true. here's the problem that I have, though. There's a lot of people that supported Obama back in 08, back mm-hmm. in 2012, didn't go out yep. there and vote. And nope. Obama's out there ca- campaigning. He literally campaigned for nothing. You put yep. Michelle Obama out there campaigning, passionate about evolution, passionate yep. about change, passionate about trying to get the right person in for this yep. particular job to continue the legacy. It didn't happen. People didn't go nope. out and vote. You know how many people that I've seen on my timeline say, I didn't go out and vote. I didn't do it. Now, I know yep. California out there, California pretty much for the most part, you know, I get it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that, you know what, sit it out, you know, anticipate. But you know what? California has always been a blue state for a long time. Um, yeah. It's 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 apparently it's a problem. But let me put Gavin I mean, on. Illinois in a too, but and you then, know it's like yeah. But before I even continue, let me put let me put Gavin on real quick. Gav, what up though? Welcome to next live be in morning. No sorry. Hey, there's, there's some bullshit. Yeah, it's it's all about, it's, it's, oh, wait, I forgot to mention that part. Yeah, it's some bullshit. <laughs> it's it's all it's all about Trump and his money. That's, Real talk. That's, that's about, it. That's it. You know, because we're not even because we're not even like, and I'm sure Hillary's campaign won't even go into the fact of the voter suppression that was done in multiple states. The fact that people were waiting three and four hours in line. On when it's supposed to be early voting, which you're not supposed to have any no line, no wait. We're not even getting to that factor of the situation. How they just believe oh, yeah. I mean, it. Like North Carolina yeah. specifically, but most states at all. Because, because right now, we didn't have right, the. Right, right now, like, my problem, I got a problem with the people out in certain spots. I mean, you know, the red states. You know, they they notorious for red. That's cool. But see, some of the other states, like Michigan, like severely right. let, 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 the, let, let the campaign down. Like Pennsylvania, yeah. severely let the campaign down. Like Arizona, severely let the campaign down. Like, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff out there. Like if, if Clinton would have, if she would have flipped like Florida or if she would have flipped another state, you know, made it blue or did something that would have made that would have made things jump. But uh, instead, it just it just it just went backwards, and it seemed like it happened to go backwards ever since they started, you know, bringing in votes from all the precincts in all the states or whatever. Let me take the seven five seven call, mic'd up and on Next Legacy Radio. Who's this? Yo, man. Again, this is Will. Oh, uh, Will, what's up, bro? What's going on, what's man? Chilling, man. watching this bullshit unfold in front of my eyes, like the rest of y'all. Right. I mean, I'm at a loss. I mean, I'm at I'm at a loss. Will you got a little girl? Um, you got you got two. So, I mean, for me, it wasn't it wasn't it ain't necessarily because I don't really care. I don't really care too much for Hillary myself. I never did, but I mean, I I I, I voted strictly on the notion that I would I refuse to let a racial bigot jackass <laughs> you know yeah. get the office. You know, I'm, I'm I'm serious, man. Cause it's it's ridiculous. I mean, I feel like I, I don't know, man. It's it's crazy. Yo. I, I just. I'm just watching this. I'm like, wow, man. Like, that backwards. And, and, then, and then, like, half the people, like, like Randy said, man, majority of the people that came out and voted when, like, Obama ran and whatnot, man, they didn't, like, some of them didn't even go out to vote. And I'm like, 
the fuck, like seriously, yo, like, oh man, it's, it's, this shit's crazy. But I mean, <laughs> I think we go. I, I I would be optimistic about it if maybe he came out with a better attitude, or you know, and he okay. maybe said things differently, but. I don't think he's gonna do a damn thing different than what anybody else did. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't. Hey, no, 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 no. I, well, I, I got to correct. I got to correct you because I don't think. I think he is. I think he's gonna do something different. I think he's gonna. He's gonna ruin the four years he's gonna be in office. He's gonna ruin not just everything that Obama's made in eight years, but he's gonna. He's gonna. It's gonna be so volatile that he's gonna obviously. He's gonna bring so much. He's gonna bring much, so much war potential that other countries is going to probably, hey, you know what, this is going to be the perfect time for us to be able to just go attack America now. Like, a lot of people not looking at that as uh, on the flip side. Like, a lot of people think that, oh, you know what, Trump's here. Trump talks so much shit, and he does so many underhanded different things on the table. Like, he's done that as a businessman, right? So, you know, he's, he's probably screwed over so many different people that it's at a point right now where it's just like, you know what, he's going to bring a lot of war to the United States. And some of it might be civil, but a lot of it might be outside the country, too. What's up, Gav? Well, who's going to build this fucking wall? (laughs) Ain't nobody building no damn wall. Well, see, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing that I'm looking at right now. Like, I'm looking at... I'm looking at this, Gab, like, the wall, like, remember, like, I don't know, this was, like, maybe a month ago. Uh, he said he went to the, the spot, and they were saying that, uh, you know, the president of Mexico was like, man, I ain't building, I ain't building that shit. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not, he not trying to do that, so he's going to have problems with Mexico, period. Uh, so hey. that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, the people in, 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 you know, in Mexico right now is so fucking turned off by this whole thing. Just for the simple yep. fact that I don't know if anybody paid attention to, like, you know, the the, the NASDAQ and stuff like that. Like, pay oh, has been dropped. flip-flopping it's up and down, you know what I'm saying, all day today. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are, like, really, like, undecided. Like, you know, it's it's bad, Gab. Like, it's it's really bad. Like, it's really bad to the point where uh, it, it, it's, you know, people people don't know where to turn, what to go, or what to deal with. Like, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. And, if you had and, a four hundred one k by nine in the morning, I mean, yeah, but I, but I'm putting it, but I'm putting it like this, y'all. Will, Gav, deny it, people listening. Look, like I, I I get it. I mean, Gav, we we didn't call it already. We were saying a little bit of this last year. We were telling people yeah. this last year. You know what? Obama's about Once to be out of here. Out. So you know what? We gonna get we gonna get the next clown for president. You know what I'm saying? Very a lot true. of people would have been Very saying true. that shit about it. They would have been saying it about Hillary. But at the same right. time, I still feel she, I'm like you, Will. I didn't really, uh, whatever, when it came to her. But at the same time, the reason why I here? voted for her was because she was, to me, more experienced. And she would have been able to continue the Obama legacy. Period. Right. Now we're yeah. witnessing. Right. Now we're witnessing. And Will, you was on the air with me when Obama first became president back in 2008. You and I yeah. were on the air the same night that he was president. Yes, we celebrated. We we figured out like you. Anybody go that can go back and listen to that show in 08. You and I, Will, and 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 others, we were talking that you know what this is going to change the landscape of how African Americans was gonna move throughout the country because we feel like now we have to be we have the potential to be able to do more, be more, create, etc. But you know what? Here we are eight years later, no. It all ends. It all ends tonight. Yeah. It all ends tonight. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. And that's man. The, and, it and is that's the sad crazy. that's the sad thing about how this political game is right now. And I put it out yeah. there on social media. Those who voted for Obama for two terms sat by yeah. and watched a racist, sexist dude parade around the White House now in 2016. Who does that? Right. And here's, the, that? here's the crazy thing about the situation, though. Like, he's talking about he's going to throw all the immigrants out. Well, his wife's got to go, too, then. Hello? Because she was legal and she can't hear. Damn um, right, like, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the... But the whole thing I mean, he got, he got his favorite. 
Exactly. But you know what, Gab, and, and everybody, like, he got his favorites. He got his wife who basically, she she's the, she's his, she's the puppet. Like, oh. we all know this. You can't even speak English. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, and you, I mean, <laughs> who's gonna, I mean, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm mud swinging right now, but I don't really care. This is how I feel. Like, I feel like, you know, if I'm running for mayor of Oakland in 2018, I could keep it real with my people. Like, let, let's just keep it real. Though. Like, who's gonna lay beside Donald Trump and 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 and, and be hugged up with that dude? And that yeah. dude, you know what I'm saying? You know Man. what I'm saying? Let's just keep it real. Let's just keep it real. I mean, but Man, you know, my, he employed. He employs so many different people, you know what I'm saying, for 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 low terms, and he don't pay people. And I said what? it earlier, people, when his taxes is finally revealed, there's going to be so much shady stuff that's going to be logged in on there. That's just a mess. That's, people mm-hmm. are just going to be so people are going to be so turned off by this whole situation. It's ridiculous. I swear, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. Yeah. Man, I I was you know when you sit back and you listen to people talk about the reasons why they vote, man. It's like it's I mean if you like even I went public like in the store, I just think I kind of already was kind of leaning kind of in the direction that it, it might go for Trump because mostly all in my opinion Trump supporters are nothing but dumb. Right. Like, that, that's vote for some of the most dumbest ass reasons. And I mean, I, I don't mean any harm to anybody. I got, I got, you know, I got kind of like be uh, uh, polite how, how I'm phrasing this. But my girl is dead. But is just voting for Trump because of he doesn't like he has a problem with Hillary because of she wants to uh, where she has a problem with guns or whatever. And I'm just sitting there. I'm listening. I'm listening right. to him talk. I'm like, I'm like, wow, seriously, like you, you that that's the reason why your 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 vote is swayed with her because of this. She wants to. Uh, uh, I think she wanted to put a ban on guns or something like that. I said, I, it, to me, that it's, it's bigger. It, it, that's, that goes back to when I was saying before about the gay rights thing and all that other shit and gay right. rights marriage and all that. That shit is unfucking important against, against the other issues that we have that are going on in in our society for you to place your the whole the sole reason of you voting. Of, of not voting for a person on one fucking issue. Like, I, I cannot, I can't even have a conversation with a lot of that. Do you not realize what else is at stake here? I, I don't even own a gun, so I don't feel what you feel. I'm, right. I'm a, right. you know, I'm a regular American. I'm a, uh, a regular. Hello? 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 Here, here's the thing that I'm. Here's the thing that I'm sad about. It's, it's. I mean, we, we know, we know this. We know this whole. We know this whole situation is like 110 percent racist, right? And, and we know this whole situation is a mix. But you know what? There's two. There's two different kinds of racism going. Actually, there's multiple racism going on. It's, it's not just blacks against. It's, hold on, real quick. There's. It's not just blacks against Trump or some blacks against Trump. We got coons that side with Trump, Gab. You know this because you you posted this up there earlier too, Gab. You know what time it is. We got coons. We got other blacks that's literally in the pockets of Trump voting against other blacks because they want to rock with or side with Trump for whatever reason. But we got that. We got the coons. We got the men that don't want to see a woman become president of the United States. We don't want to. There's men that don't want to see that. There's men that don't want to see that. And to me, I think that that that, that supersedes. Now, I'm not. I'm not going to say because to me, I think it's half and half. I think there's some people that didn't want to vote for Hillary because she's a female, and there's a there's another half. That is literally like straight, like you know what I'm saying, white pride. You know what I'm saying. Any anytime I always hear Trump say, "Let's make America great again," I I just swear, like I swear, y'all, I swear he's at a point where it's just like, "Let's let's make white America great again." Like okay. that's how I feel. Because the moment mm-hmm. he came out live on one of his little speeches saying that, you know what, you know, all you you know that that's you know. Africans or African Americans, like you guys are living rough, anyways. You guys are living yeah. in poverty. What do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? Yeah. But you know what? 
y'all y'all laid in that bed and y'all really dealing with the outcome right now. Let me put in cuz from the little let me mic him on, on Next Legacy Radio. We're talking about the outcome. I mean, it's not officially called cuz, but I mean Hillary is like flatlined good. right about now. Like it's basically a done deal. Yeah, good. yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty much is um but I'm not really too surprised by it though, because I think it was a lot of people you know, like they do that polling thing, which you can't put too much stock in because they had her blowing away Trump. So I was like, man, something fishy about that. Then you had a lot of people they wasn't going to the polls and counting that, you know what I'm saying, like saying who they want, they wanted for Trump. They had a lot of undercovers like that. So those who came out in droves, like a lot of them undercovers, people they didn't account for in those rural areas of the country, you know what I'm saying, like the backwoods type of people came out in droves and support for Clinton. And I think she made a mistake, um, I think that was yesterday or the day before, like she brought out all those celebrities. And it kind of make it seem like, man, I wish she didn't do, did that, because it make it seem kind of superficial. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not like the old propaganda, like bring out LeBron James, Jay-Z, Beyonce, just to pull in the black vote. Like, you know, don't, don't pan to us like that, because we smarter than that. You know what I'm saying? It's like get out there and, and on the ground work, and, and Trump, he spoke to that. You know what I'm saying? He's like, well, I don't got nobody out here, uh, like, rocking me, no celebrity. I'm out here one-man dolo, you know what I'm saying, doing this. So, she uh, like, she even had Pusha T uh, for an event. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why would you do that? Like, don't, come on, now. Like, don't do that. You know, but I, I wish that a lot of these people, you know what I'm saying, like, people, like, the black vote didn't turn out as, like, they thought, but the Latino, they, you know, they, uh, like, 30, almost 30 percent. Voted for Trump, I and mean, they thought that was going to be like a low volume. You know what I'm saying against the Latino. He still had a high number for the Latino people. You know what I'm saying? They kind of came out. It's all money. He did better with the Latino vote than Mitt Romney did when he was running for president. So I don't know. You got a lot of people. They they feel like it's a backlash against Obama, so they want to make it. You know, that's like a, a big part of it. Like against Obama, a big backlash against him and his pres- presidency, and they don't want like a third term. Uh, like uh, Obama, and you know what I'm saying by voting for Clinton, and it's it's, it's looking see, grim for us. But, but like you right about uh, that? Yeah, uh, I mean right now, right now the electoral votes has Trump at 247 and Hillary Clinton at 215. Yeah. She's not gonna, she's not gonna win Pennsylvania. So once once them 20 other electoral votes kick in, that's gonna put Trump at what 240, 60. 267. He needs 270. He's probably going to get a couple of other little small states with electoral votes, so he'll get that easy. But that Pennsylvania vote, or that electoral vote, pretty much kind of did her in, like, immediately. And now Breaking hey, News has, according to CNN, says that Hillary Clinton's not going to speak tonight, no matter what happens. Hey, you know what? So, and that must have been like a gimme for her, like a gimme state. You know what I'm saying? Like some of Not the really, states- though. Not well, really. Not, not like some of the other though. states, like um, that it was Democratic, Michigan end up turning red in the uh, election. Mi- Michigan, though, Michigan, Michigan, Michigan let her I think down. Wisconsin. And Wisconsin, Wisconsin let her down too, but Michigan mm-hmm. let her down bigger though. And and to me, it's 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 sad to watch this unfold because I know I know Clint as as gracious as I know she probably would have been in defeat. Like, this is emotional for everybody, though. Like, Kerry, think about it, though. You got We got four years of a President Donald Trump. Think about that, though. Think about it. Let it sink in. And, and you know what? And also, let me say this, that this is, I feel like, and this is just my opinion, and as long as, because we're all older or old enough to the point where, you know what I'm saying, this was even a shock for us in this generation or in our lifetime to see this. But you know what, y'all? I don't think we're going to ever see him. She's heard all the stuff that Trump did or all the stuff that Trump was about or whatever, and she wasn't feeling it either. So when you get little kids, when you get little kids that feel that way about it, then what do you think the parents are going to feel like? What do you think people are going to wake up in the morning? What do you think the stock market is going to look like in the morning when people when people wake up and realize that, you know what, we got four years of Donald Trump as president of the United States? Dude that will instantly grab a woman's pussy because he's famous. Instantly. Yeah. A, a man a man who a man who literally don't give a shit about black folks. He don't give a shit about Latinos, Hispanic folks at all. I mean, let's just keep that real. 
I mean, look at look at his look at his uh look at his work his work grind anyways. He shortchanged and not paid a lot of people. And he underpaid hella people. So do you really think he's really pro people? No he's not. He's pro himself. But you know what? The racist white folks won this one. And you know what? It's nineteen fifty, sixty, sixty nine all over again. All over again. And, and that's and that's sad. That's sad. This is this is going to be a sad. And I said it. I said it. I said it. I said it last year. I called it. I was like, Obama's gone. Yeah, we going to deal with a hell of a situation. Whoever's going to be the next president. Yep. And I think honestly, and I think it doesn't matter. Like, okay, even if somebody asked me on the text line, and I appreciate it. Somebody said that. Well, you know, if Bernie Sanders would have been the nominee, we would have had Bernie Sanders as president. You know what? Honestly, I don't think so. I don't think no. so. I, I think so, some, I think people. so many people was, I think so many people was invigorated by Donald Trump's uh, ways or whatever. I think they got all got mesmerized by whatever it is that he was dishing out. That it wouldn't have mattered if it was. Well, no. Nah, you know what? And then again, I take that back because. You know what? You get half the people that just really didn't want to see a female president. They just really didn't. They just really didn't. They just really didn't. And and to me, that's just that's just hella sad. That's sad, y'all. I mean, that's sad. We we're we're looking at very very dark times right now in the United States. We're not. It's just bad. And Gab, what did you say? A lot of people got to turn in them Obama Obama phones. Uh, people got to turn man. in them phones. With the quickness, ASAP. Man, I don't know, y'all. Man. I don't know. This, this is just a this is just a, a wild. You know what? And Mark Cuban was uh, quoted as saying, I'd rather lose every penny than have Trump as president. And you know what? I don't blame you, dude. I don't know. Hey, the thing is that he we got it, doing? so we just got to live with it for the first uh, four years. So, see, hopefully. Not, well, not, not I mean, well, I mean shit, shit, I mean, nothing else you could do about it. Shit, I'll leave the country. You know what I'm saying? We stuck with him. So just hope for the best, man. Pray for the worst. That's what impeachment hope for the best. for. Fuck you. Like I said, if he goes to jail, though, like what what happens then? I'm just saying. Like this is like this is an actual possibility. He has he literally has a rape child next month. If, he goes, you know if he's not the president, then the vice president, the dude Pence oh, will take well, over. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, so I don't know if we will want him. No. You know, yeah, he's a racist too. You know what I'm saying. So he's a racist too. Know. Right. <laughs> no, and I was and I was and I was hoping so much. I was hoping so much that all the people that supported Trump on his campaign manager, Kellyanne Conway and all these stupid ass people that you know, I was really hoping that, you know what, end of the day you can just, you know, ride your ass out off into the sunset and stay off these things, but they got a big fat I told you so or ah ha 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 ha. But you know what? I'm I'm severely let down by the, the Hispanic voters, like I mean, who in their right mind would vote for that guy? He's trying to literally take your ancestors and box them in. Like, who literally, who, what Hispanic would do that? Who would do that? Same black for what Hispanic? Listen, listen to what I'm saying, though, y'all. What Hispanic in their right mind would vote for a guy who would box up their ancestors? But right. he's getting a lot of Hispanic votes too. But he's yeah. getting a lot of Hispanic votes too. And I was thinking, you know what? Clinton's got she got she got Florida. They got they got the Puerto Ricans. They got people out there holding it down. And that's I was far from it. Far from it. Right. Far from it. But you know what? We saying this right now. And he still ain't reached 270 electoral votes to become president of the United States. Even though, hey, you know what? Hey, if she comes back and, and wins, hey, there is a guy, bro. Uh, like, 
there is a God. And she comes back and she comes back and wins. There is a God, but I mean, it just don't look good right now. It's just yeah, horrible. she needs to do like I mean, the Chicago Cubs on his ass. Like, like, real uh, shit, right. Oh, you can do that. <laughs> right about now. Right about now. Literally. Just being extra in this and shit. Something need to get. <laughs> Wrong. Yeah. Oh God, no! I can't. I can't. Yeah. I just. I just. This can't be happening. I, I mean, we just. I mean, dude's been stuck. He's been stuck on two forty seven for a while, but Hillary's been stuck at two fifteen for a while too. So, I mean, literally, cousin, you right? Like, I mean, it, it's literally extra in his like, and she needs a grand slam to win it right. all. Right. <laughs> And right. it's like two strikes and shit, and it's like literally three two, and she keep file tipping like all day, like right, yeah, you know exactly. <laughs> she keep file tipping like all day. She's staying alive like. early. Shit. <laughs> early. I mean, it's sad, bro. Like, I mean, and I know CNN broke the news that Clinton will not speak tonight. Um, she don't need to speak tonight because what can she say? without breaking down crying like, you know what, America, y'all let me fucking down. Like right. it shouldn't even been uh, it shouldn't even been this close. It shouldn't even no, been this close. Hey, you know what? Oh. This a, the second time, so I'm pretty sure like this is our last this our last chance of running. You know what I'm saying? For hey, president. You know what I'm saying? She lost to oh, Obama. Yeah, no, she, Everybody thought she had that one then oh, so right. it's like oh, she, man, two defeats yeah. on her record like that. Ain't no yeah, I mean, she, she, she she's done. Yeah, I don't think I'm making another run for it in, in five years. Yeah, she's like the um she's like the Minnesota Vikings of uh of the Super Bowls or whatever, or the Buffalo Bills yep. for the most Buffalo part. Bills, of, yeah. uh, Buffalo Bills of the Super Bowl or whatever man. of the NFL. I mean, it's just man, it's ridiculous, bro. Like and not only that I mean, it's just I mean, it ain't it ain't really no win. It ain't really no win. It ain't no win, no matter what you say. It ain't no, you know, Trump's gonna come in and be like, you know, I know he's gonna be the arrogant asshole that he is. You know what I'm saying? And he might come back with a Hillary, you're fired or some bullshit like that or whatever. Like, you know, he gonna put a he gonna put a spin on it. But I mean, you know, it's 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 sad though, y'all. It's sad, but it's sad. It's sad for like the Obama supporters, but you know what? Yeah. I seen I seen the lack of a turnout from '08 to 2014. Though it wasn't that many blacks that came yeah. in that supported uh-uh. Obama in 2012, 2012, like they did back in 2008. Like you know what I'm saying? That was the whirlwind. They got everybody that could vote, that did vote, but then the, they didn't put the effort in there. Now, granted, a lot of people was probably jaded because. You know what I'm saying? Well, he he ain't do shit for us, but you know what? The Republicans run the house right now, cause like, and they yeah. still run it. They, they still, still run it, and, and they got the Senate look. too. They got the the uh, House and the Senate, so they done picked up look, y'all. death during the course of this tonight. So, and look, now they still have the it's House. Fuck. Yeah, it's so fuck, they, they got it all like it's fucked. They got, this is a dark-ass day for Democrats, like, straight the fuck up, like, seriously. You got you got the dude running the White House, you got the mm-hmm. Republicans running the House, and you got the Republicans holding the Senate down. Yeah. So you know what yeah. they're going to do? They're going to run, they're going to run any, anybody they want to be the Supreme Court judge. They're going to do everything they want. And we all know that, you know what I'm saying, it's a lot of Republicans out there that's not racist, and I get that. There is some that actually are not racist. But there's a lot of them that is, though. There's a lot of racist Republicans, period. Yeah. But you know what? But one eight thing out, about eight out of ten, is... Eight and a half out of ten people is fucking racist, in my opinion, as far as Republicans. Yeah, but, a lot, but one thing about that is, even though they got the House and the, and the Senate... A lot of them don't get along with Trump, though. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, he, he ran, he ran for Republican, but a lot of them don't like him. So I don't know how that's going. That Not relationship going to work between him and no. them. You know what I'm saying? Like, because a lot of them can't stand him, and a lot of them yeah. went against him. You know, even voted against him in the election. So I want to see how that's going to play out, man. So it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna play out well, man. It ain't gonna 
don't play out well. I mean, that's a mess. If any, if, and if any, and if anything, you know, I, I'm just sad. I'm just sad for the American people who really, you know, give a shit about growth because I don't think this current regime of the Republicans led by Donald Trump does. And, and I posted this like earlier today, 96 years ago, women couldn't even vote. Like you got to think about it. That's a whole fucking yeah. less than a century, less than a century. Women could not vote at all. They couldn't vote. Mm-hmm. They were not given, they were not given, they were, they were the lower tier totem pole people. They were bottom feeders when it came to, you know, political rights and shit like that or whatever. Even, you know, like a lot of men thought less of a woman when they when they did put in votes. So, I mean, all the, all the stuff that women fought for to be able to get to this moment right here, and there were so many jaded women, women who did not, uh, who did not support Hillary Clinton because of fucking emails or whatever, chose to not even vote for that guy, and that's and that's a hor- that's a horrible thing because I mean, but you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna side with and you're gonna vote for a man that's gonna grab your pussy, really? Right. Exactly. You gonna do that? I mean, you gonna do that though? Like that's that's pretty that's pretty sad. It's pretty sad, y'all. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that is pretty sad. That shit. I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I wish. Um, I don't know. I thought it was going. If be, Trump, if I, Trump was to call and be like, "Hey, I want to, I want to, I want to talk to you know your fans or your peoples for like ten, fifteen minutes if you can," I'll tell, I'll tell the president of the goddamn United States right now, no, nope. no, I'm good, I'm cool, okay. thank you, but uh, I ain't rolling hey, like whoa. that. So I'm sorry. <laughs> What, well, wrong. yeah, technically but, he's not sworn in yet, so he, you know. Nah, I mean, okay. let's keep it real. He, he, is still, he, he still don't. He still don't have two seventy yet. He's still stuck at two forty right. seven. You know what I'm he saying? Still, he, right now, I'm, I'm looking at. I got my eye on CNN. I would never watch Fox News ever again, though. Just so y'all know, no. hey, you know I would what? never they, watch they had them ever. His numbers up higher throughout the whole course. They had. They got him like like two sixty or some shit. I'm yeah. Like, what the fuck they looking at? Yeah. Hey, but on the real though, like I would never watch Fox News ever, ever again, like ever. Nope. You know how I just like severely boycott World Star because I can give a fuck about them too. Mm. And um, I'm not, I'm not a fan of media takeout. They can kiss my ass, and I ain't supporting them either. I will never watch Fox News ever, ever. Cause they are just like Trump, super biased, and just yep. you know what I'm saying. But but they but they've been like that with every Republican though. They've been that was like that with Mitt Romney in 2012. Like mm-hmm. they just they just you know they're just blatant, but they're blatant with it though. Like they oh, just yeah. have no they have no filter, no filter whatsoever. They allegiance with you know what I'm saying who they deal with. So, and, and this after Donald Trump went off on that chick Meg Kelly, and you know what I'm saying. He had beef with her, and, and you know they still be like kissing his ass. So it's like, yeah, and she's one of their own, right? And that's that's I don't get like everything that he's said, everything that he's done, and we're having this conversation. Like I don't understand this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just don't get it. I didn't think that our country was this racist, this. I really did yeah. not think that we were that bad. <laughs> but okay, yeah. so, I mean, I mean, I mean but it, it's not that like, though. It's, but, like, it's not, it's, but deny it. It's not all that though. It's the fact that there's so many people, thousands and thousands of people who decided to sit home. You know what I'm saying? And I remember, I remember early, the early stages. I was like, you know what? I'm going to sit this out. I'm going to sit this out because you know what? It's just all bad. And you know what? My vote mixed in with Gavs, mixed in with a lot of people in California. I mean, we we knew it was a blue state, and Clinton would have easily got them 55 electoral votes without a vote from us. But you know what? I feel like I I felt like it was an obligation for me to just support the person that uh, that I feel was better qualified, and better qualified to me was somebody who didn't have you That's know what I'm saying. I know experience. she. 
I mean, well, not just that. I mean, she had that, but she had, um, to me, a moral compass to be able to run for president. But apparently the other people in these particular states, especially them red states with higher electoral votes, chose otherwise. And they chose otherwise because, you know, they, obviously they wanted something new. Obviously they felt like what Obama did for eight years wanted shit. Even though, even though, what was it at, y'all? He was at, like, 56% rating as far as likability before he closed yeah. down his presidency. So he was yeah. well-liked by half the state. Yeah. But what does that tell you? What does that tell you about the people that went literally did not go out and vote just because just to be able to honor that man's legacy? And you know what? Eight years of what Obama did is gone now. Yeah, yeah, I gotta think about it. You, you know how big of a waste of time your president, your presidency is now. Think about it. Eight years you spent building, yeah. doing all you can to help others and shit like that or whatever, and it's gone. It's gone in one night. With one arm tied behind your back because he ain't getting no help from the Republicans. Well, so I think oh, it was like pulling exactly. two. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So. He had, uh, like, a, even a harder time. You know what I'm saying? He probably right. got a lot more done if he had some yeah. help on the other side. But, of course, you know they didn't want to see him succeed. You know what I'm saying? Hey, where, hey, where that fucking Jeb Bush at? Because he probably had him on his side. Hey, him and, uh, yeah, what was his that, name? Uh, Jeb Bush. Mayor shit. Giuliani. All them bitches, yeah. Shit. Man, it's the one he thing I hate seeing, man. I hate seeing Trump arriving at his election headquarters and seeing all them redneck dudes and the coons in the in the in the in the seats and shit like that or whatever. Like, man, yeah. all them all them red. Let's make white America great again. Hat on and I can't shit. Even watch like, it. I mean, that's just sad. This is sad, y'all. Like, I mean, I don't feel like crying. But I don't know how I'm going to wake up and just be like, wow, let me get up and try to make a great day today. Like, this is really fucking depressing, though. This is really depressing. This is depressing. I mean, the people out there that's, that, that's you know, listening, we're covering the election. There still isn't a winner, but it looks like it's going to be Donald Trump. Right now, he currently has 247 electoral votes. Hillary Clinton has 215 there's still there's still like a handful of states that's literally up for grabs. Um, some of the bigger ones, it looks like he's going to wind up getting it. Um, the votes are still coming in. Uh, there's still 70, 80 percent in some states. Um, again, like Michigan, I feel like severely let Hillary Clinton down. Uh, Wisconsin severely let Hillary Clinton down. Um, Arizona, which I think she didn't carry. I think uh oh Pennsylvania especially though. Like all the people out there in Pittsburgh and Philadelphia uh, and stuff like that. Like, hey, oh, oh oh, you know what? Fucking Ohio too, like I swear y'all, you're like, Y'all love that Beyonce Jay Z concert, but y'all free right. motherfuckers didn't even go out and vote. Like I guarantee you, everybody out there that went, half them people didn't even go vote. They just wanted to go to the free concert and support. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Just because, like, I guarantee you, guarantee you, Ohio, y'all let y'all let Hillary Clinton down though, like for real. Shout out to Washington, shout out to Hawaii, uh, shout out to California, shout out to the you know barely, 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 barely uh blue states out there for the people out there that's in there. But this is really this is pathetic. This is pathetic. Yep. That's that. Like, yeah, but you know what? But Wisconsin, she kind of think uh, overlooked that because they think they throughout that whole course they said she had it in the bag. You know, not one time that she campaigned in there since she won the um, the primary for becoming a Democratic uh, a leader. You know what I'm saying? She yeah. ain't got stepped one foot in that state that whole time, and I think they felt a certain way about that towards the end. You know what I'm saying? Look like. Okay, you think you just got us in the bag like that, but you ain't coming and see us and talk to us? Okay, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like they done flipped on her. I think she yeah, made a mistake right there. But she Wisconsin needed was that. Was already Republican. They had a Republican governor. I'm not even surprised about that situation at all. Well, I mean, because I, I think notoriously. Oh shit! He just went up by ten more uh, votes, y'all. Oh fuck it, it's over. 
Oh yeah, and then you know once you about money. But once he gets that, once he gets that Pennsylvania, uh, once he gets that one, then you know that's that's okay. that's done. So he just he I just claimed Wisconsin. He just claimed Wisconsin, so he got another ten electoral votes. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, because he's uh, about to get Pennsylvania, so that's really gonna put. Wow, this is just. You know what? I was really, I was literally hoping for a miracle, but it ain't gonna happen. Though, so. Oh, well, you know. 60, 60. Oh, yeah, because yeah, right now he's at 257. Hillary Clinton's at 215. Uh, he needs yeah. he needs less than 20 yards, so he's going to easily get that for, in Pennsylvania. Like, Pennsylvania with the most electoral votes out of all, all the other ones left, so. Uh, yeah, he'll he need that 13 20. more. He get, yeah, he gets that 20. It. He gets that 20, he's done. So, wow. Damn. So like crying, man. It's just fucking shame, y'all. Like this is this is crazy. It's crazy that we're literally getting ready to deal with Trump as president of the United States. And, and now, in my lifetime, I didn't I didn't figure out that we would be able to see an African American president, much less have that man for two terms. But in my lifetime, I would have wished he never ran. Right. And when I say that, and when I say that, because. Look at everything that that man tried to do for eight years. Everything, again, let me say this again. Everything that man tried to do for eight years is gone now. It's gone. It's gone. No matter what Trump does for these next four years, it's gone now. Somebody's going to kill him. I'm not I'm I'm Hey, hey, Gab, to be keep it real, man. I'm worried about us, though. I think somebody's gonna kill us, bro. Oh, like, gosh. I'm worried about us. Uh, I think somebody's gonna, I, I think somebody's gonna get us, bro. Like, but I, I know, I know, I know a couple of people in Philadelphia that said they was voting for them. I think I'm gonna have to unfriend them, unfollow them, motherfuckers. Oh yeah, and you're gonna get all these all these side people that's just like really on 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 super hate mode on uh on trying to uh you know they're gonna rub it in on everybody and everybody's face going forward, man. It's it's a dark ass day, bro. Like this is like hella dark. I need a drink. I need a drink or some shit. <laughs> I need a drink. Hey Gab, you got some weed? <laughs> Gab, you Gab, you got some? Yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> I'm already uh, high. <laughs> I need some, man. This is fucking ridiculous. I don't know. What's next, y'all? What's next? Shit. Things back to how they was before Obama came Fuck in. Move, right. Move forward. That's it. <laughs> what the Fuck hell? Oh, that, that, ain't, that ain't good then. Job is going to yeah, be all fucked all. up, though. Like, Job is gonna be all. They said we fucked. just got somebody that they go and hide behind closed door and say what they you know uh, feel and things. He just come out in the open with it. That's the only difference. Wow, this is sad, y'all. This is sad. This is hella sad. So he's supposed to be a great job creator. I want to see how many jobs he create now. Since you no, know, these people want this great so-called job creator businessman. Let's see what he do with the country. He said he's going to make everything great, uh, all this. Okay, well, let's see then. Everything's great. Everything's wonderful. Everything's perfect. Right. Everything's Even perfect. though we don't know how he's going to go about doing it. You know what I'm saying? But, but that's you know what? Way. How does this happen? Hey, hey, but you know what, y'all? It's cause he's going to make great America great again for the rich people. He's going to send all the Mexicans. He's going to send them. He's going to get them out of here. Like, they're gone. Like he, they're that, out of here. Yeah, you know, you he know what? That, that's that's actually too. not gonna happen. But he gonna do something. You know what I'm saying? It's something he gonna do with their ass shit. And they should came out. They really should came out in droves and voted. Cause you know what I'm saying? Like you said, a lot of them they know they ass here illegally. They know they need them paychecks. They should really came out here. He already said what he wants to say. He's trying to cut back on it towards the end, try to be more politically politically correct. 
But that's y'all just all smoking mirrors, man. Like, they really should came out. And I can't believe, like, he almost got 30% of the Latino Hispanic votes to his that's credit. That's what's killing me, bro. That's what's that's killing crazy. me. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, I don't Hell, get yeah, it. Yeah. Like, somebody tell me a good-ass reason why an Hispanic person would vote for Trump. When when he literally want to build a wall so yo, your great-grandfather or your great-grandmother or your grandmother or your cousins can't come here. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't get that. Might let me know what's real because, I mean, you know, like I said, if he did the turnout like, like they say he did with the Hispanic turnout, I mean, you know, blacks just ain't going to vote. Y'all just, you know, y'all black folks that didn't vote, y'all just dropped the ball, like, severely. Especially in those, in those rural states. I'm not talking about California. I'm not talking about all the other states that just, you know, literally would have flipped or turned blue or whatever. But, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's sad, though. Like, I remember, I remember, like, in 2008 and 2012, I was like, you know what? I interrupted my own conversation. All right, we're we going to go to Obama's... Uh, you know his speech, and we covered that shit live. I am not. I am not. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. Can say I'm a hater or whatever, but I'm not gonna put Trump's speech on. I'm just not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. No. Ain't gonna do it. This is oh, a sad shit. day in America, man. This motherfucker be speaking a little bit, y'all. Yeah, no. I'm good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, cuz oh, like. I can't, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing that need to be said now. Like this dude is about to fuck your man. Hey, he like, might, he might ah. have all types of profanity. Like you got damn right, I done did it. You motherfucker, <laughs> I'm the president. <laughs> fuck my dick. Just, no, he yo, some shit no. Like that. And, and, hey, hey, real <laughs> shit. And you know what? You know what I'm saying? Crooked. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. He always say crooked Hillary, kiss my, my ass, ass, bitch. Like that look, bitch. crooked Hillary. <laughs> yeah. Crooked like, Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm becoming president, I'm locking your motherfucking ass oh, up. Oh yeah, man. yeah, like, she better leave the country. Like, yeah, she better flee the country. No, he's not gonna lock her. Hillary. He's not gonna lock her up. His daughter will never forgive her. You, for, you forget. So the whole thing is that we forget. He says that he's not gonna do that because he because his daughter would never forgive him. That's his uh, daughter's best friend's mother. He's not gonna lock her up. Man, I mean, people. Donald Trump don't give a fuck about who best friend, daughter, cousin, sister, mother, dad. He likes his daughter. He ain't gonna do that dumb shit. <laughs> if he has if a he problem with well, really, he, he hey, don't have the power to do that. But if he had the power, he would lock that motherfucking you, ass up. He don't like hey, that. But, hey, but so deny, how you deny? How you figure that when he even like he lets uh, Howard Stern talk about? Yeah, your daughter has a nice piece of ass. And Donald Trump's like, uh huh, uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you oh, really yeah, think yeah, you yeah. really think that uh you, yeah you, I mean <laughs> not gonna lock come on yeah right come on if he you had the power he'd really be locked up right now shit yeah but I mean he that's sad this is sad y'all like Trump yeah. is Michigan oh. or Pennsylvania to win the presidency so it looks like he's about to get the shit. So, this is fucking ridiculous, dude. Where, where did it all go wrong, though? Where did it all go wrong? It's all over again, you know? Real talk. Hey, it all went wrong. It all went wrong when people decided they wanted to vote for somebody who likes pussy. So, like the grab pussy. Like, that's basically yeah. it. Like, yep. somebody who don't give a shit about black folks. He's, yeah, yeah, that African-American over there. Oh. Like, you know, all that shit that he would always say, like... I mean, he, I ain't, he ain't even, he can't come to California. Like, the times that he stopped by to California, he stopped by and then left. Like, he knew it was nothing for his ass out here. That's why he never came back out here. Hey. That's why he gave, he didn't give a shit about California hey. anyway, because he just didn't. Hey, answer He's just me like, this. Nah. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, sir, answer me He still never released his tax returns, did he? Nope. Hell no. Now, that is crazy. Now, throughout the whole time, he talking about Hillary and these damn emails. 
He, ne- he stuck by it. He never reached the damn tax returns. We don't know what's in them. Which I could have sworn was but a requirement, see, but I that's forget what it's I, a requirement. Because, so that's what I said it. earlier before you called in, bro. I said, watch, he's going to release some tax returns, right? And it's going to have all kinds of shit that he did that was dirty, under the table, all kinds of foul shit, right? And and this is what this is what they got, man. I'm telling you, they they sleeping with they they in bed with a bitch right now, like with a dirty bitch. Trump is a dirty bitch, like straight up. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's over with now. She done called the man. She called in. What he won one of the states, Pennsylvania or Michigan? No, no, she called uh, Trump to concede the election. They just talking about it now. She just called him. Say, look, I wow. gave up. You won. Wow. Mm. He ain't even hit the... I, I quit. I can't. I quit. Yeah, that's what she just said. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't even worth, you know, all these people on CNN trying to figure out, like, you know what I'm saying? But you know what's funny? It's hella red states, though. Like, hella yeah. Republican states. This hell is a Republican of country overall. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, it yeah, really it's is. Like overall, it's a long time it, it, it's a few it's liberals, like but it's really overall a Republican type of country, man. Wow. Because you know what, I, I was I could see it was a bad side because I you know I kind of tuned in, kind of been watching from the, the get go, and he came out the gate winning like four, five states in a row. I'm like, what? What kind yeah, of that? Well, maybe yeah. just down south. And then he was winning states up north, and then she started winning a couple. But he was, every time I look, he's, like, up leading. I'm like, oh, shit, this is, like, a bad sign. And, you know, she took the lead for a little bit, but then I think with California, y'all helped her take the lead. But yeah. that was it, though. He took the lead back over there. And nah, because she never had the lead, bro. She never had she the did. lead. She did. She had, like, a lead because she, <laughs> she won California, and it was, like, 190 yeah, one, to, yeah. like, yeah. 150 or some shit. Something. So she had to leave by winning y'all. But after that, she lost it and she she never regained the lead since. Hey, this is sad, I think y'all man. had hella electoral votes, like what, yeah. 50 something in y'all 55. state? 55. Yeah. Clinton caused Trump to concede election. This is sad. This is sad in American history. This is just fucking, this is a goddamn shame. Oh shit! Yeah, I don't even know. Uh, he had he had two sixty eight. He just won Arizona. Okay. Oh well. I can't believe that Donald Trump could become president. This is crazy. It's Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
It's not that people couldn't. Know. It's not that didn't. They couldn't. So that's the problem. Man, I need a fucking but, drink, but man. I need a drink. I need, I need a drink. I need to. I need to like not think about this. I need to go get some pussy, get a drink. I need to do something, something. to something to occupy my time. Cause this shit is ridiculous. Hey, 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 Gav. Hey, hey, Gav. Hey, hey, where them thoughts at, Gav? Man, not around here. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, some Trump supporters out there, Gav? Where you at? You say you up in the (laughs) city. Oh, yeah, Gav. Hey, Gav, you kicking me with Trump supporting Gav? Yeah, Gav. Yeah, Trump supporting Gav. Yeah, Trump supporting Gav. High time and shit, uh, man. Stick your ass out there, bro. Man, fuck that. Hey, no, what's the trip? Because I have registered to vote. I get down there, they tell me I got to re-register. For what? So I'm like, to vote. I mean, but why you have to, though? Why they say you have to re Because you didn't do you, That's your move? You didn't do it the first I, time or what? I did. When I went down there oh, to vote. Your, you changed your address. Oh, yeah, that's right, because you moved. No. No, I put my new address and everything. I did the shit like a month ago. Okay. But, what? Yeah, That's when I went down there, about. like, they was, like, asking me my name, and I spelled my name, and then they were doing, you know, how people do the P for Paul, or the H for, I'm like, man, lady, I ain't got time for this pop quiz. <laughs> right. I, I spelled my name. I don't need you to give me no little tribute questions of that. You know, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, shit, just listen. Like, right. But yeah, but yeah, I had to re hey. Oh, wow. And these, these people that these people that's about to be president right now, like, I mean, we got Melania Trump as a fucking first lady, though. Think about that this shit. That bitch can't even Let speak English right now. Lord. We, 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 we do what we do. Oh, my we God. I can't believe it. When we do hey, what we do. It's her passport legal. Shit. I think she had that be legal. What, that is what legal. We do for, what, what we do for our country, huh. we do for we what we do. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's be serious. I don't think I don't think Trump hitting that because if he was, he'd be dead already. Because that's that's a heart attack right there for his ass. No, 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 no. He probably just uh, rubbing the titties or some shit, throwing some money on her. Like <laughs> he probably get off like oh, that. Shit. You know what I'm saying? He get off like Kill that, throwing some money, rubbing the titties. Yeah, oh, that's it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, hey, nah, y'all heard what he said. He's just grabbing the pussy, that's all. He's just grabbing yeah, the pussy. Yeah, he's grabbing the pussy. That's, that's, that's all. He's grabbing the pussy. Oh, let me put Will. Man. Let me put Will back on. Let me put Will back on, cause Will, I know, you, I know you hear, I know you heard Clinton just call Trump to concede the election. So yeah, yeah, over. man. Y- y- are y'all watching CNN? Cause I, like, no. One thing that one thing that I, I I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Man. One thing I hate, and I'm pretty sure we all are kind of on the same wavelength. Like, I mean, I hate how. You know when she when they announced on CNN that she wasn't speaking tonight because she was gonna wait till all the votes came in, right? Okay, mm-hmm. that's a problem. But yet still we have a we got like I'm, I'm a, and this is how I'm gonna refer to him from here on out. We got we have a racist bigot jackass idiot, you know who who was run who was running for president and who just basically won the presidency. Who said who was going around saying all this reckless bullshit by what he was what he wasn't going to do and you have a lady who was sit, who sat back and ran her campaign the way it should have been ran and because she said that she wasn't going to give a speech then you know they try to throw her ass under the fucking bus man I'm 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 really getting heated with this shit I really am That's I'm, I'm, I'm fucking I'm no, fucking I pissed I off man it. Oh yeah and you and I'm pretty sure it's probably like that they probably went thug life on 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 Hillary on Fox News too, they probably went gangster. Oh yeah, big okay, time. Man. But you know, I got a boycott on Fox I, News. I'll never watch them ever again. Like never. 
Good. CNN, at least, you know, they they was they was they was split down the middle, but you know they they over That's kind of rude for uh, uh, Hillary. But here's the thing, really, though. though. Yeah. The media really like decided this election. They've been giving him so much coverage from the day he said he said he was going to run, and they gave him more coverage than anybody. They said, "Oh, he's spicing up the election. He's spicing up the election," and they wanted to spice up the election so much. No, nah, I don't. I don't think the media. I think the media played a hand in it, but I just think there was a lot. There was a lack of. They no, cast, we, just just found, we just found out. We just found out there's more cool than we thought, bro. Yeah. Hey, Gaz. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Gaz, we just found out really there's tough. more cool than we thought. Yeah. We just found out. Yeah. Hey, yo, found that out shit, when that dude came back out with them FBI emails, man, I think that shit fucked Hillary up. Because, I mean, come on, man. Well, got Trump. Trump. He, had, he, had, he was having the worst month ever. Trump was having the worst month ever. And then right. you're going to come back out with that when she's uh, when she's back at the top of the polls. I think that shit was fucking red. I really do. But there was and, and you know there. what? That's the thing, and Will. I agree. And Will, you 100, you 100 when you say that? You're right. Because... Yeah. Look at it, though. Look at it like this. Like, if you peel back that whole thing, like, nine days before the election, you're going to drop a yep. bomb like that against Hillary. Right. But you know what? That fucking idiot, Mayor Giuliani, he was the one yep. that said a lot of that shit in motion, too. And who is, who is Giuliani yep. fucking with? He, he in bed with Trump, too. So, you know yep. what? They all set that shit up. And I know we mm-hmm. sound like some severe sore losers, but you know what? I don't give a shit. It is what it I is. Don't, <laughs> it just, you know, I, what, don't, I, I don't care. It's, it's I don't, not even I don't about care. Really about the I mean, about we all sounding time. like we hella bitter, like we bitter bitches. But you know what? Tonight, I'm gonna yeah, be a bitter, bitter bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna be a <laughs> bitter <laughs> bitch tonight. <laughs> like, I, like, I'm it's not, I just don't want to hear. I don't want. I'm looking. I'm looking at CNN right now tonight, and I'm looking at this jackass with a, with an look, orange smile, with an orange smile on his face. Listen, y'all, an orange smile on his face. I'm not looking. I'm and, not looking. I'm and not it's looking. just, it's just hor- It's horrible. It's li- listen, y'all. Look who we have as your new president, and watch oh, this God. first family with 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 I two can't. beautiful daughters and a first lady that can actually speak English. Oh. It's gone now. Our first lady, Michelle, man, we're going to miss Michelle Obama so bad. Like, so bad. You know what? In all honesty, <laughs> hey, hey, get her trained up so she can run for president, though, like real Ooh, shit. Pop. Like, train her up. Train her up in 2020 so she can run for president straight the fuck up. Like, do that. Do yeah. that. Because I don't, man, we got, we, got, we got Ivanka Trump as first lady. <laughs> or Melania, sorry. We got Melania Trump as first lady. <laughs> wow, y'all. Hey, Dan, wow. Dan, the, the, the vote count is 288 to 250. That's like a blowout, man. It's like, what was the people I, I know, at? bro. Man, I know. What was the people at, man? I can't. I can't. I can't. Hey, wait for the first lady. Hey, got the popular vote, too. This is crazy. Yeah, we're going to grab him by the pussy. But what, what, oh, we, what, we what we do for our country is, is just we do what we have to do for our America. And th- this Thank was you. one election that um I think Thank you. at the end of it, a lot of people like started pulling together. And I noticed a lot of celebrities uh, started uh, um, speaking out against Trump. And I just like I think when you see something like I think when you see something like that and and they you know people of a uh, uh, different stature or or stance in life you know they're in a different place that you are start to ring in on on uh, political issues or, or things of that nature that matter to everyday people I think you kind I think it it, it kind of strikes a nerve and that lets you know how serious and how important it is because I'm, I I just feel like man like Brandon said man, I'm I'm a bitter bitch right now man for real fuck it, man. But, fuck even, it. but you know what even beyond that what what we what we what we, what we, what we found out now is that this country just didn't want a woman president for whatever reason <laughs> That was it. They can claim that you know the whatever, but that's what it was. They never take that guy. The only person. I just I don't, I don't get it. 
I want to But you know what? What also hurt was the people that you did see. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people that vote that you probably will not recognize. Like, I heard, uh, like, Tom Brady and Bill Belichick was in support of uh, Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I and heard about, I heard about that on my way to work. They was undercover. I'm, yeah, they was undercover. Yeah. And they uh, voted for this man. There's a lot of people that you don't Apparently see. Apparently there were a lot of for undercover people that voted for Trump. And that's the problem. I kind of already figured. Like, I don't think because, you know, like, him and Donald Trump personality kind of fits almost. I can see them hanging out. Yeah, you know I can see them hanging out and running. Right. Yeah, you're going to do that. Oh, yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're going to do that. Yeah, 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 we're going to grab him by the pussy. Yeah, we're going to do that. Oh, yeah, we're going to do that. Like, man, man, come on, man. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 we got to deal with Melania Trump, though, as the first lady. I know, I hate hearing her talk. <laughs> I, I absolutely hate hearing her talk. She sounds like she's a stupid-ass chick, man. It's like she's barely reading the teleprompter. I don't know what this really says. Shit, well, that's why she you. had to copy Michelle Obama's speech. For her speech, exactly. Right? That. Like, see, but see, that's another. But see, why did <laughs> why does America choose that? Like she jacked, she jacked Michelle Obama's right. speech, jacked her speech. Blatantly, man, these people lie. They lie. See, they oh, they. You know what? You know what? Hey, America got what they deserve. Cause I swear, like, if I could, hey, and and I swear, cause you know. Hey, I'm 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 doing some shit on the political level, but hey, hey, I'm I'm trying to get whatever I can get in taxes because I can give a fuck about that. If Trump, if Trump is is not with, if he's withholding his taxes, like, God damn it, maybe I should too. You know what? You know what? You you, you make a good point, Brian, because he was like, you know, the, by him holding his taxes, he say, hey, you can't be mad at me because I was smart, so you can't be mad at the American people if they do some shit like that too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got the president of the United States basically just kind of fucked off and didn't even report taxes for a long time. So if he didn't do that, why why can't I do that? And mm-hmm. you saying I can't do that because what? I'm 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 not I'm not. I mean, come on. It's fucking hey, stupid. if he could go around grabbing pussies, then I can too. Why not? You know exactly. Exactly. You know why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he became president off of that shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 you better watch out, cuz hey, cuz hey, grab me. I'm coming with you. Y'all finna get that boy paralyzed. That's what's going on. Hey, Trump did it. Shit. Y'all finna get that paralyzed. Don't do it to yourself. <laughs> Guys, if you listen to that, don't listen to them. <laughs> We're going to grab him by the pussies. We're going to grab him by the pussies. Okay, just take kids. Wind up one testicle. Wonder what happened. Don't do it. Don't listen to this. Hey, hey. So what's the over under on on Trump dying? How many how many years is it going to take? It's going to be a year and a half. It's going to be a year and a half. They assassinate Obama ass. I mean, and we going to start placing bets. I mean, it, I'm a little, do we want Pence in, in, over him? I think he might be worse. Cause he's a real conservative. Wrong. God, no. Oh, God, no. I he's can't a real conservative. I can't. I can't believe this shit. I can't even. I can't believe it either. Hey, hey, you know what, y'all? know the world as we hey. know it. Hey, I was just getting ready to say that tonight. Yeah, I, I think the world's coming to an end, y'all. It's yep. coming to an end. I mean, we had we had a fucked up end of last year. This whole year of 2016 sucked exactly. on so many levels. So many levels this year fucking sucked. And now we got a whack ass one. president. We got a bootleg we ass president. Again. And he's gonna give all the money to the wealthy though. See, that's the thing that I don't, see. At least with Hillary, like she was trying to, she was trying to do some shit. That would have like made tax moderate for like you know us, you know the folks that's under 125k or whatever. But yeah. Trump as Trump as is just like, hey, we gonna hit, we gonna we gonna take out folks, like we gonna make sure that the rich stay richer and the poor just stay busted. Like, 
That's what he wants. That's what he and wants. And you know that's what he's going to Some hick ass motherfucker white people in the rural. I can't understand why they in nothing in common with this man. He's not. He, I don't even see. Why would you vote against your own best interest? You know, Hillary okay. Woods talk about like okay. increasing pay raises, the minimum wage, and things, and taxes and all that. He it's not for them people, man. You know what I'm saying? They worry about guns and shit like that. Oh, here we gonna take away our guns. They said yeah, they had no yeah, yeah. Obama. And Obama oh, didn't give a shit about the guns. People still getting guns. No. I don't get it. It's stupid. Why the clan? Why the clans? People had like a they own little clans like newspaper, oh, supporting geez. Donald Trump oh, and shit like that. Like oh, you know, oh, yeah. hey, when you get when you get the clansmen to just kind of kind of publicly put themselves out there and be like, hey, we support Donald Trump. You know they racist. You know it. Because you know what? Hey, the clansmen. Hey, the clansmen stay motivated, right? But they stay hidden in the shadows and shit. So you know they must have been juiced. They must have been hella fire juice just to, to come out of the shadows and just say, "Hey, we gonna support this man, for President of the United States, boy. We gonna make it. We gonna make it. We gonna make sure that we gonna make sure we get this man in as president and get all these boys out of here. I mean, they. Hey, we but we like. Hey, shout out to all our house niggas though. Like we got that coon right over there, like that that Ben Carson guy. That Ben Carson guy is gonna be on the cabinet. He's gonna be that coon. You know what I'm saying? But we, you yeah. know, we got this person over here. We got Amarosa. She's going to be our mm. nice little black Yeah, I said her black ass. You said her in the background? Yeah. Her black yeah, ass, this though. dumb bitch. <laughs> yeah, black. Her that black ass. ass. <laughs> only black person on the <laughs> stage with all the black motherfuckers. Our only black ass. Hey, for don't real. Like, that's a problem yeah, with yeah, that. we going to. Yeah, we got all we got we got all the rednecks over here. All you know, all the people in sheets. We we, we definitely support Trump. Hey, For, yeah. he might bust your ass. Yeah, I felt that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like they was hacking. Oh yeah. uh Hillary Clinton emails and shit, leaking that shit. Well, like you no, know, I don't know. That's that's a bad sign, man. They helped this hey, man win hey. by doing that shit. And you know, and you know, later it's gonna we gonna come to find out that uh mm-hmm. that 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 the new president Trump and Putin have been tight. Hella tight, like y'all gonna know they've been super, super tight. Like they gonna, we gonna find out hella shit later. Watch, I'm telling you, this presidency right here that that this dude's gonna have is gonna be so filled with hella chaos. Like people not gonna know. Like once they find, like they gonna, it's it's gonna be a lot of Republicans that's gonna not like this dude. Even in cabinet, they gonna want to impeach this guy. Like before the four years is over, watch, it's gonna be a tail. It's gonna be a whirlwind. And oh, yeah, he's going he gonna wind up fucking up. And if it's not gonna be based on taxes alone, because you know he did some tax fraud, and you know once they find out some shit, he's gonna be impeached. Watch, it's gonna be some he's shit gonna that's gonna happen. He's gonna get caught up. He's gonna get caught up. Punk ass Trump, kiss my man, ass. I felt that anytime President Warren United Buffett, States. man, I felt that uh, anytime okay. Warren Buffett. And we all know Warren Buffett. That's a, that's a powerful motherfucker right there by himself. Right, right. right. I felt right. that anytime Warren Buffett came out, like with, and he he can show his tax returns. I felt that he I felt that he straight punked Trump on that shit. Like he straight called him out. And I yeah. I, I just felt anytime anybody like Warren Buffett comes out and he pulls out his his own tax returns, and he's a and he's a billionaire himself. Like and then you got another mm-hmm. guy. You got you got a man running for president who claims he's such a good businessman that he does all this and that. But he can't he can't pull his. To me, when when that that said that that said a lot right there by itself. Like you got Warren Buffett, who's richer than Donald Trump, has more money than, than probably he ever will have in his life. Who comes out and says, "Man, if I can pull out my, if I can show you guys my tax returns, why can't this idiot do it himself?" Like I, that, to me, that said everything. Yeah, yeah. And more on top of it, more Buffett is Buffett a said, man. Uh, he believed that ain't no way his secretary should pay more taxes than he does. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like, you exactly. know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Yep. This is some stupid shit, y'all. Like, I'm just over here sitting here thinking, like, damn. Uh, you know what? Hey, you know what? The state of Pennsylvania. You know what? I know some people in that state. Fuck Shout out to them, but you know what? Y'all dropped the ball too. Y'all fucked up. Like y'all, y'all hella fucked up. Man. Y'all kiss my oh, ass. Really? Like everybody out there, literally. And and if people go back and listen to it, and be like, oh shit, I thought we was tight. Nah, we ain't cool no more. 
I ain't never coming to your town, ever. Like I, I, I'm closed off into sections of the United States because it's all red. Like red means blood to me. Blood, I can't, I can't fuck with. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? Hillary, she didn't win Illinois, and she, she from Illinois, right? She didn't win. She went Illinois. Huh? No, no, she won it. She won it. Yeah. I said okay. Pennsylvania, okay. bro. She won Illinois. No, I yeah. said, no, nah, Pennsylvania, dude. Like, hey, man, there's a lot of there's a lot of red states out there on that side. I ain't never coming. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't never seen Florida ever, like ever, ever. Florida, Florida can come to me, but I ain't going out there though. I'm sorry. People out there that live in Florida, no, you won't see me anymore. Well, you never see me anyway, so oh well. It is what it is. But that's sad. Hey, you know what? Hey, I know Hillary, you crying right now because we'll never yeah. see you ever again. I, I know it, but you know what? You tried your best. But you know what? You ran into you ran you ran into you ran into too many Mexicans who literally, hey Gab, you know how we talk about blacks being coons? We got Mexican coons too, though. Y'all didn't know that. Yeah, 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 cool. know, yeah. We have we have, yeah. we have Mexican coons right now. Oh, right. they on the the white side of things. You got Asians. Yeah, they're, on they're the white, white. side. Uh, mm-hmm. Muslims. I mean, yeah. They they go against their best interests, man. I I just don't get it. They vote against their best interests. But but I don't but I don't uh I don't even I don't even get it though. Like I'm not understand I'm not understanding this process right now. This process is just just sad though. I I, I literally feel like I literally feel like I I need to cry, bro. Like I need, I literally do. I just, I just literally feel like I need to cry. I'm just, I'm just in tears right now. Like, maybe I should cry, but I don't know how to do that yet. So I'm trying to figure it they out. They voted a TV star as a president. The last TV star, oh, and, they, oh, and this ain't over, the first time. The see, last person they did that was Ronald Reagan. And you see how that's see, here's the, the Yeah, but and, oh, oh, and you know how people always say, well, Ronald Reagan came in and he, you know, he gave the he gave the party a shot in the arm they needed and shit like that, but I'm, I'm Reagan sorry. Didn't got nobody by the pussy. I'm, I'm 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 sorry, but during Ronald Reagan's watch, did we experience uh-huh. the worst, the worst, the worst decimation of our black folks by dropping yep. a drug yep. bomb into our communities? Yeah, you know yep. what I'm saying. They didn't all they didn't all come from the Mexican borders. And I think we all knew they came from planes, trains, and automobiles into all these other sta- other states and shit like that or whatever under mm-hmm. his watch. And what mm-hmm. did what did Reagan do in his presidency to be able to try to defuse his era in his ways? He sent his wife to say no to drugs. Let's go yep. give you let's go give you something to do, Nancy Reagan. By giving you mm-hmm. the say no to drug campaign policies to go stretch out across the world to make themselves look good, but you know what? No. And Ronald Reagan, may you rest in peace. Nancy Reagan, may you rest in peace. But under your Reagan watch during that time, your administration fucked mm-hmm. up and destroyed, destroyed every mm-hmm. single life that you could think of at that particular time. Put my mm-hmm. mama on it, put my family on it, everything. Y'all drop, y'all drop that drug bomb on everybody that caused millions and millions of lives, destroyed families, and you know what? Still destroying families to this day, because you know why? You mm-hmm. still have people living. Think about it. The 80s wasn't that goddamn long ago. No, it wasn't right. that long ago. Think about it. Think about it. What, 30, almost 40 years ago? That ain't long enough. You know what? You know why? There's grandmothers that still live in that net. That was moms back then. They grandmamas still living to this day, still having issues, never got resurrected or cleaned up. So, you know what? People out there that say all that shit about, oh, yeah, you know what? The first non-person that came in, you know what? Clinton was the more qualified. We all know that shit. And also, all know that people... Shit. And also before Clinton, like motherfuckers still, you got to see motherfuckers still locked up from the eighties on drug possessions, on minor drug possession offenses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. 
Yeah. Like, like it's crazy, man. Like you said, like he did a lot to decimate the black community. Took away a lot of programs that was in the uh, mm-hmm. in the neighborhoods at that time too. I mean, we didn't yeah. we didn't have no success under the uh, Ronald Reagan presidency. But they all talk about yeah. he was uh, a funny uh, president. They all go back to that shit. Like, who give a fuck about he being funny? Like, what did he do? And really, to me, he didn't have no good legacy. You know what I'm saying? Not to me. At no. all. What? And he was a terrible actor on top of that, too. Shit. Mm. I seen a movie of his. What did he do? What did he do? Huh. What, what, is, what was Ronald Reagan's most memorable stint as president of the United States? Exactly. None. And they yeah, gave none. him too much credit on that Berlin Wall shit, too. Because they were saying, like, like he, he came, he took over... When it was going down, but it was already in the process of being tore right. down. It just so happened yeah. on his watch. Yeah, it just came through just right there. But it was already people were was working on there, have that war yeah. tore down. It just fell on his watch that it, it came down. But he and like he did it himself. You know what I'm saying? They gave and, him too much credit for that too. I agree, and don't get it twisted for people out there that's listening that's saying, well, if you say that about Reagan, you got to say that about Obama because it was really Bush and having Bush drop them people in Afghanistan that really set that in motion about Osama. But don't 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 get that twisted. Like, Bush had so many people running around in circles. It just mm-hmm. really took Obama's, it took Obama's team and his strategy and his people to be able to root that shit out. And, and clear it. And I'm sorry, Hillary Clinton was in that um, situation room when that went down, too. Yep. So, you know, mm-hmm. a lot of people tend to forget shit like that or whatever, but then they still vote. You know, like I said, y'all, I mean, I don't I don't think it's any more clear than what we face. We face a racist. Now, I know a lot of elections can turn into that and have turned into that, but this is like the races of the races on so many levels because you're dealing with the color of people's skin, the gender of a person, people didn't want a female president. And I don't think now, I mean, Hillary would would have been the most qualified to do it. And then the way she lost, though, just yeah. shocked the hell out of me, though. Like, the way she lost surprises me. It just it just shocks me. I just, I just still, I'm, I'm still just really numb to the whole fact that we are now living in a world that will be ran by Donald Trump. I just, I just can't, I just can't figure that out. I think she, uh, really I think she had bad luck two different times. Like with Obama, it was just a bad luck because she would have won that 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 party, and more than likely she would be uh, oh John McCain for the presidency of '08. You know what I'm saying? If it was for Obama, but it's just bad luck, bad timing. And then with Donald Trump, with everything, it's just. Bad luck again, man. She was just bad luck. Because she most definitely qualified. Like, she more qualified than uh, a lot of men that was on her. You know what I'm saying? Right. But and, I, I mean, think but that, that's, that's I, what I, it was. Like, it got to the it. point where that that people honestly would rather have an idiot for president than have somebody that's qualified and a woman. Period. Point blank. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's just it. Like, I mean, and that's the sad thing, though, but that, that's really what it is. And so, like you said, we had, there were a lot of closet Trump supporters out there. Mm-hmm. A lot of people that vote a third frickin' party. A lot of people that vote hey, uh, Jones. How's that gonna how's that gonna look in the coming days? Like Obama's gotta sit down with Donald Trump and talk about changing oh, yeah. over all the policy oh, shit. God, how's man. that gonna happen? No my how, how is but how is that how is Obama gonna how is Obama gonna sit down with somebody I mean and and, and let's the just keep is, it real. Let's keep it real, y'all. Like he, oh, like Trump, attacked Obama personally. Yes. Called that man out with the yep. whole with the whole birther thing and everything. Yep. I mean, how you gonna sit across from this guy and then turn this shit over to him? With like, the whole how is that even gonna be hand. possible? He's from these because he shit came in. Him. He came in out of the gate. You know what? Mm-hmm. When I'm president, we're gonna repel. The Obamacare, oh, okay. we gonna yeah. fuck up all this shit. Literally everything yeah. that was run by crooked Hillary and the Obamas, like literally, like crooked yeah. Hillary was his theme song during the whole thing. Like yeah. he had, like I mean, but see that's the thing. Like now, like I really, I really got an issue with the government now. Like I just, I yeah. swear, y'all, hey, if y'all can find any tax breaks, y'all can find 
to get over. And y'all know what I mean, and I can't really say it out loud, but y'all know what I mean. Find a way to get over it. Thank you for listening to the number one radio station for the people. 